Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress, where I am delighted to be joined by Matt Dugan, Vice President of Data Platforms at AT&T. Matt, such a pleasure to have you on the program here today. Thank you for having me here. I'm excited to talk to you. At AT&T, you are opening the door to greater possibilities. Are you noticing any trends with the data? Yeah, quite a bit. I mean, so obviously there's a generative AI trend. There's a scale trend. There's a necessary processing trend. And then there's the business crisis about how to get signal out of all that noise and get to a single version of truth that we try to do with something we call data products. Thank you, Matt. Great to have a baseline. I want to dive into the details here. AT&T's 5G network reaches about 295 million people. How is the team adapting to keep up with the evolving needs of your customers? So it's a lot of data. It's a lot of connections. 295 million people is a lot of folks. There's also IoT devices and such in that mix. There's a lot of information that comes in. We've actually migrated the main host of that information from a, a database that we wrote, we AT&T wrote from scratch, to the point of such customization that we had to invent a language in order to write this database in from scratch. Wow. And this is and this has been running great for us for decades now. We're actually bringing all of that into Snowflake as our primary computational store because we need that ability to scale. We need that ability to deal with limitless volume. I want to dive into the data cloud. I'm so glad you mentioned Snowflake. How is their platform allowing your ecosystem the ability to do more faster? So there's a few things. One of those is that we have a really common pattern in, in a company like ours, which is so large. Right? We have a lot of subscribers. We also have a lot of employees a lot of business units that need to do different things with data. So being able to do zero copy clones or internal account to account data shares is a big part of what we do. Also the ability to execute certain Snowflake CI CD patterns to be able to build up uh, advanced analytics environments on the fly. A lot of these things allow us to scale in ways that a traditional RDBMS wouldn't let us. Thank you for those insights, Matt. What opportunities do you see around data collaboration both within and outside of the core telecom sector? For us, it's about partnerships inside the ecosystem. So you think about IoT devices, one of the big sectors of IoT devices is connected cars. So they want us to operate the network. They want to be able to work with their car and their car data. We're also dealing with significant partnerships domestically in the US now with different network operators to deal with the ORAN and ORAN scaling. So there's a lot of data federation that has to scale back and forth. There's a lot of data sharing that's go back and forth, but security and privacy to the consumer and rights elections are paramount in that. Thanks, Matt. The excitement is clearly all around us here at Mobile World Congress, and Gen AI truly remains the key focus for all those here at MWC in the telecom sector more broadly. What are your key takeaways from this event, and what's top of mind while you're here in Barcelona? So top of mind for me is, is seeing what actually innovations are occurring inside the ORAN space, inside the device space, and inside that telco to tech code transformation that we're in the process of. I think one of the things I'm really looking forward to seeing is some of those advanced integrations that ISVs and other partners are able to do. So if we can enable open orchestration of the network and open up edge compute, what other use, new use cases are gonna be possible with that, with that open ecosystem? Thanks, Matt. I know we've covered a lot here and such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud now here in Barcelona. What's next for AT&T? Oh, next is converged. So all lanes point to converge. So we, we find that if you look at the actual carriage of data and you and say, okay, what, what level of data volume is being trafficked over the mobility RAN, and you that actually is a huge amount of volume, but it pales into comparison to what's actually pulled back over the fiber optic backhaul. And so what we want to do is provide a distinct opportunity. And you've seen us make some moves uh, in, in domestically in the United States with some partner companies that we've seeded to allow us to go get more and more fiber footprint, build out that area aggressively, and then adapt to those owner economics of running both the mobility and the fiber backhaul, and probably a fair bit of the wireless uh, Wi-Fi offload in between. Matt, I'm excited to see what's next for ATT. Thank you so Same much here. for joining me. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. I'll see you soon.